All right, day three of me trying to make this video because I'm so nervous. In exactly one year from this video's release, an annular solar eclipse will cross the United States from Oregon to Texas. And six months after that, a total solar eclipse will cross the United States, this time from Texas to Maine. Last time this happened, in August 2017, I flew from LA to North Carolina and then drove from North Carolina to South Carolina with my family to go and experience totality. Y'all, I had been looking forward to this since middle school. Middle school! I was not gonna miss it, okay? Over the course of the day, the moon covered the sun and it got cooler throughout the day. It got like a little bit dimmer throughout the day. Every, you could see, you know, there were lots of cameras and everybody was wearing their solar glasses. And let me tell you, those few minutes of totality, the, when the moon covers the sun all the way, that will change your life. I cannot describe the feeling of awe other than I was screaming my head off. <laughs> um, I tried to take a picture I, for like five seconds and this was all I got. It wasn't, it's, it's not much. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's honest work. It was amazing. And I'm gonna go back for both of these. But this time I'm gonna do something special. And if you haven't guessed from based on the logo, we're going to launch a rocket into the solar eclipse. And I am, let's go. If you're new here, uh, I love flying rockets. I have been doing it for about 10 years. I was lucky enough to do it in high school and do it some more in college. And my path through aerospace is really um, tightly woven with my path through rocketry. So now I'm a full-fledged aerospace engineer and I got my level three certification for rocketry uh, earlier this year because I wanted to do this project. I've been thinking about this project, combining eclipses and rocketry and giving them a creative outlet for about a year. I'm gonna call it Project Seros after the Seros cycle, which is used to, which used to be used to predict eclipses, although nowadays it's mostly computer simulations. So I'd like to, I'm gonna talk about my goals for this project, then a couple housekeeping things, then a sneak peek into the future. My right, first goal for this project is just do it. Go get the, go build the rockets, test the rockets, go out to, out to the launch site for the solar eclipse, get really good footage. I would like to make it a uniquely rocket experience. Like there is lots of, lots of great videos about people going and experiencing a solar eclipse from the ground, going to see it from an airplane, but going to see it from a rocket feels pretty unique. Like I'm not the first person to do it. NASA did a ton of this in the seventies when there was a total solar eclipse that went over the Wallops flight facility. That's pretty cool, but I'm gonna do it now. Goal number two, uh, I'm gonna make a video series. I'm gonna post it to YouTube. That's why I'm, that's why we're, we're having this chat. Uh, <laughs> the reason why is I wanna inspire at least one person. You know, I am lucky enough to like go and chase the things that I love. And I would like uh, to inspire someone else to do the same. Uh, part of this is like, there are not a lot of faces like mine in rocketry, to be frank. Um, it'd be great to put myself out there as a role model. Uh, but more importantly, like if there's something you're really excited about doing and you're sort of on the fence about doing it and you're worried about trying it because you think you're gonna fail, like you gotta try it. Trust me, like this is, this is the third day of me trying to talk to a camera. If I can do this, you can do it. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> On a practical note, it'll be useful to see like all of the technical thing, all the technical decisions I made, all the, how did I build this? Like having that as an archive will be great. Remembering all the memories in the videos by like watching the videos will be great. Last but not least, this is the literal definition of a passion project. So goal number three is just to have fun with it. I don't want to agonize over getting slightly worse video, like, oh no, 4K 30 instead of 4K 120. Ah, freak out. Like, no, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to launch rockets into a solar eclipse. I'm here to get great footage that will inspire somebody. And I'm here to have fun, like building this and experiencing this with my friends. And that's it. I'll be hosting videos for Project Seros here on this channel uh, with my name on it. I did that because I wanted to have a little bit more flexibility. We might get a few oddball videos here and there, but the core of the content here is going to be Project Seros for at least like a year and a half. We'll see what happens as we go. Uh, consider this your disclaimer. If you're in for this little roller coaster, uh, you know what to do: like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, if you're if you want to help out but you're not really in, like, comment, maybe subscribe. Don't hit the bell. 
It's up to you. Last up, sneak peek, what's next? Uh, I made a rocket called Cascade that's flown once with my friend Joe Barnard. If somehow you've run into me before him and you like rockets, check him out. He's awesome. He landed a rocket by himself. Fantastic. The point of this rocket is to test out some camera systems because there's a lot of high power rocket stuff where the rocket falls down kind of like this and it's all tumbling. Um, and I mu would much rather have it flop, you know, I'd much rather have it be nice and stable like a crew capsule, just like really slowly back and forth sort of thing. Um, so cameras, parachutes, that kind of thing. Do we need something more complicated? Uh, we're gonna find out. Second, we got some educational content coming down the line. I wanna talk about how eclipses work. I wanna talk about Saros cycles, why the heck I named the project Saros. I wanna talk about orbital mechanics, maybe some how-to build stuff. Comment below if you got some more suggestions, please. Uh, last, you know, maybe some original music to help tell the story. We'll see. Uh, the journey is the destination. Uh, so if you're in, let's go. Thanks for joining me. My name is Andrew Adams, and I will see you next time. Yay!